when businesses are reporting to banks or stakeholders or to boards, um, you'll hear accountants talking about financial periods. Um, essentially, the reason for this is it's incredibly important that once something has been submitted, uh, those results aren't then subsequently changed. Because when they are, it can take a certain amount of time to figure out what that change is or was um, in order to, to make sure that it is removed um, so that you can go back to that original uh, position that you reported. So when we're working with accounting systems, we always take into consideration what the business is looking to achieve and how strict they are around the reporting of their financial periods. Um, because certain accounting systems will work in different ways uh, and are better set up um, to work with uh, financial periods, whether that be um, 13 four week periods or 445, which you see in retail and hospitality, or just having standard 12 month periods. Um, what you'll see with some of the some of the main providers is that the, the transaction date, the date that you put on an invoice when you're posting that into your accounting system automatically pertains to a financial period. So if you have a financial year that ends in December, a calendar year, if you date something on the 1st of January, that will go into your financial period one automatically when you date that transaction the 1st of January. Now, that's all well and good, um, but what might be preferable is that from a tax perspective, you might receive an invoice, let's say, dated the 28th of January, um, but you receive that invoice late and you've already finished and submitted your January accounts to your bank. You therefore, from a VAT and tax point perspective, would still want to post that transaction with the date of the 28th of January, but you would want to put it into your February period, your period two, if you're working on a calendar year. Now, with certain systems, that's not possible. Um, but with others it is if you're using a period based accounting system. So if you're making that decision to potentially move accounting systems or upgrade and, and you have to submit numbers and you want tighter financial controls around your financial periods, I would encourage you to use what is called a period based accounting system which will have a separate field for your transaction date and for your financial accounting period. Um, and being able to then open or close those periods um, and also restrict access to that to that screen for people in, in key positions who, who have a better understanding of, of when those periods should be open from a, from a control perspective. Um, that will be key in ensuring that your prior period results don't change and you can have a firm handle over how each uh, how your business is performing by business unit against budget um, and against last year because you will have a clear control over where your financial transactions are being posted into your accounting system.